Today's top stories at NBR. Prices up 2.2% in the three months to the end of September. Resource consent applications to build New Zealand's largest battery storage system. Kiwi exporters and charter ships. And there's more coming right up. Kia ora and welcome to NBR Today, a wrap of the day's top business stories from the Authority in New Zealand Business News since 1970, nbr.co.nz. It's Monday, October 18th. I'm Paul Brennan. Thanks again for joining us. The long-awaited $1 billion IPO of Vulcan Steel was strongly sought after by New Zealand investors, but more heavily marketed to Australian institutions, fund managers say. There are also questions for some about the stage the business has reached before coming to market, although most describe it as a strong business with an impressive management team. Vulcan Steel was established 25 years ago by Peter Wells and has grown into a business distributing steel products, including carbon, engineering and stainless steel, to a diversified customer base from 29 sites in Australia and New Zealand. Peter Wells joined the NBR's Dita De Boni. I read a good quote in the Wall Street Journal recently which said uh, an IPO is like your funeral, you only do it once. And um, so I think there was a bit of that around it. We were we were taking advice as we went along and the, the suggestions were that 49% was a good number. Vulcan Steel founder Peter Wells with Dita De Boni. Prices went up 2.2% in the three months to the end of September, the biggest quarterly rise since December 2010. Statistics New Zealand said if quarters affected by GST increases are excluded, this is the biggest quarterly rise since a 3.3% increase in the three months to the end of June in 1987. On an annual basis, inflation was 4.9% when compared with last year's September quarter, confirming the Reserve Bank's move to start raising the official cash rate. That went up from 0.25% to 0.5% earlier in the month and is expected to climb to 1.5% next year. A higher OCR will push up retail interest rates as the Reserve Bank tries to pull inflation back within its 1-3% to target range. Today's number represents the biggest annual rise in inflation since June 2011. New Zealand, or more accurately at this point, Auckland, finally has its own fledgling full-service online supermarket business called Supi, founded by Pukekohe resident Sarah Bale. She's a member of the NBR Lister Bale Brothers Vegetable Growing Family, the Seven Brothers business, one of the largest players in the potato industry and leading produce supplier. Her father is Kevin Bale, and Sarah Bale joined the NBR's Dita De Boni. So we're really testing a whole bunch of... Um ideas um, from either textbooks or um, what we've seen internationally happen and trialing them and seeing what efficiencies we can gain from our or in our business model so that we can remain as lean as possible um, so that we can pass margins back to both suppliers and consumers. Supi founder Sarah Bale with Dita De Boni. Hamilton-based lines company Well Networks and its consultancy subsidiary Infratech have lodged resource consent applications to build New Zealand's largest battery storage system, large enough to hold energy to meet the daily demands of more than 2,000 homes. The 35-megawatt battery energy storage system conceived by Well will cost an estimated $25 million to build and is expected to be commissioned by October 2022. It will be the largest such system in New Zealand when constructed, at least until Meridian's planned North Island 100-megawatt battery storage project is completed, Infratech General Manager of Business Development Nick Bibby said. Kiwi exporters that have been forced to resort to chartering bulk ships to get products into market despite supply chain issues are anticipating the need to do so again as disruption looks set to continue. Container liner services, which are disrupted across the globe for a multitude of reasons, function on a set of schedule while charter ships operate on a direct-to-port basis. New Zealand's key exporters and relevant officials met in mid-July to discuss break bulk charter operations with representatives from meat, seafood, and dairy, as well as a number of building supply heads. Tally's chief executive Tony Hazlitt said it had hired the ships in reaction to the severe shortage of space and restrictions on refrigerated containers available to New Zealand exporters at the moment. And make sure you check out this week's Shoe Shine column by Hamish McNichol, Diary of a First Home Buyer, where even a $50,000 gift barely gets you a home. Read more at NBR. 
And the full details of those stories and more are at nbr.co.nz right now. Tomorrow at NBR, Margin Call, Salt Funds talks about listed property investments around at home and around the world. While Robert McCulloch's from the Ivory Tower column talks about John Key's association with Crimson Education. I'm Paul Brennan. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow from around lunchtime for the morning's NBR trending stories. Then same time, same place, right here from 5.30 again tomorrow for another NBR Today.